What's up, LinkedIn and YouTube? JG here. Now, um, uh, kapapanood ko na ng isang yung bagong episode ngayon ng Wawa Win. And, uh, si Willie Revilla, may, may itinanong siya yatang girl, uh, 19 years old, sinabi ng girl na na may asawa na siya. Tapos, tinanong ni ni Willie, kung kasal sabi niya hindi nagli live in okay then willy ask the girl uh, kung to call this uh, kung sino kasama ang sagot ng girl kasama niya yung biena niya ngayon <laughs> here's the fun ito yung pa, ito yung pinaka funny moment eh sinabi ni willy hindi hindi pa lang kayo kasal eh bakit biena ng tao mo sa kanya all right It would be uh, it would be clearer kung sinabi niya na asawa ah ane- uh, asawa, hindi nga pala mag-asawa. Um mag- or na magulang ng partner ko, magulang ng kalit-in ko. Yeah, that that would be more that would be that would be cle- that would be uh that would be that would be clearer to others. Ngayon, napaisip ako. Napaisip ako. Gano'n ba ka-undervalued ang, ang, ang marriage ngayon? Is marriage that undervalued these days? Diba? <clears throat> Ako, well, I, I, I was born, I was born from, I was born from married parents. Okay? Kasal. Uh, kasal sa isa't isa ang mother and father ko. Okay. Walang-wala naman din sila nun eh. Walang wala naman din sila nun eh. But, uh, iaya ng father ko ang mother ko na magpakasal. Umu- binigay ng mother ko matamis yung oo, yan, kinasal sila. Alright? And until, uh, until my dad passed away, mag-asawa pa rin sila. Now, <clears throat> these days, alright, these days, marriage is undervalued. Okay. Bakit? Kasi sa ganun. Dahil sa pera. You know what? Money should not be the reason why you should uh, why you should get married. Why uh, a couple should get married. It should not be the reason. Okay? The simple truth is kung well, depends on depends on what kind of depends on what religion you are. All you have to do is approach the nearest, approach uh, your nearest, uh, approach the priest, minister, or uh, religious leader, the, the religious leader nearest to you. Sabihin mo, magpap, sabihin nyo lang, magpapakasal kayo, mahal yung isa't isa. Papakayan din eh. Tapos konting, konting, konting ano lang. Probably, uh... Probably a small donation to your church. Okay, that that's that will be fine. Okay, yung mga ibang ajan eh, pupunta na lang sa pupunta na lang sa simbahan na papasal ni. Eh. Alright, because that's that's how valuable marriage should be. Okay, regardless of religion, that's what that's how valuable marriage should be. Eh, ang nauso yung mga live in mga live in live in ang babata pa. May daig pa ako eh. <laughs> daig pa ako. May anak na sila ako, wala pa. May asawa nga, wala ako eh. I don't know. I don't know why I don't know why um why this generation undervalues marriage. All right? But the bottom line is marriage is undervalued these days because of money. All right? A poor the poor person's mindset is telling them that you should got you should have a budget para magpakasal you should have lots of money before you get married no money doesn't lead to happiness okay but money can help you become happy so happiness muna okay happiness yung muna right so i don't have to call i don't have to call this generation out to up the value of marriage because well 
for me, uh, for me, marriage has a lot of value. Right? Mas matindi ang respeto ko. Okay? Mas matindi ang respeto ko sa isang couple kung kasal sila. Yeah. Mas matindi ang respeto ko. Kung magkalipin lang kayo, don't even expect me to trust you. Yun lang. Because you are undervaluing you're undervaluing a sacrament. Right? Marriage is a sacrament regardless of religion. Okay? People should value that. People should not undervalue that. Right? Catch you guys later.